Boston Manor dropped their new album, Sundiver. I'm mm-hmm. going to say it every fucking time we talk about Boston Manor from this point forward. This is an album band. Yes, absolutely. I yeah. can hear how good the songs are as singles, but mm-hmm. this is one of those bands where I hate to use the line, but in the context of the record, everything is so much better. It is. Yeah, because it, it gives them more space to play mm-hmm. versus being just, here's four minutes, a little bite. Um, and if you like it, you like it, but I feel like you have to listen to it so you don't write off anything too quickly, because as you said, in the context of the record, it all makes sense, and it all, it's it's very full. It is very them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, no, I, I agree, just yeah. to add on. Mm-hmm. So this is, this is the, the, the other side of, uh, Datura, um, mm-hmm opens up with Deterra Dawn. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, we finally got that companion record that I was so afraid we weren't going to get because, you know, mm-hmm. there was basically cool. two two years between albums and, you know, this mm-hmm. this concept and this idea was announced um, with that record. And I was like, mm-hmm. and, you know, we asked the question and they were like, nah, album album hasn't been, you know, we're, we're focused on part one. What, what are you asking us about the yeah, side yeah. B for? Give us a uh, break, yeah. man. If you want to watch that interview, you can go and watch it. Yes. It was a lot of fun. Yes. It was great. Um, but um, so I'm I'm stoked, and I really like this this universe and this this side of the band because um, it allows for the atmospheric songs to world build, and that was mm-hmm. what I enjoyed about Detour so much is that like the songs were mm-hmm. fucking fantastic but then mm-hmm. there were also and it was a shorter record there were mm-hmm. p- there were a couple of more atmospheric songs that were more so to add to the vibe that mm-hmm. really just tied the whole thing together cuz like I had heard those singles and was like mm-hmm. great songs but like that's where I'm left at and then I heard the yeah. album as a whole and I'm like mm-hmm holy shit my entire world just changed and my love for boston manor just completely flipped and it's yeah. a deep love now so this record's a little less of the um atmospheric tracks there's a lot more just straight up songs but mm-hmm. it still does have a couple of those what feel like world building story building kind of songs that yeah. really tie the album together um mm-hmm. Again, it is it is front loaded with um, the singles like Container and Sliding Doors, Hit Me Up. So um, mm-hmm. no problem with that. They're all fucking bangers, and they all Absolutely. and I all enjoy them a lot more in the context mm-hmm. of the album. I'm gonna keep saying that for this yeah, one because yeah, it was like yeah. the main point I led with. Um, mm-hmm. I always liked Heat Me Up, and it's still probably my favorite. Um, mm-hmm. But even you know the the B side of the record with with songs like dissolve it's just like everything is fucking fantastic about this mm-hmm. album um yeah. you know and i i i think it's fantastic and i think that they really knocked this idea out of the park and mm-hmm. um you know amp to see where it goes from here but very glad we finally got that that side the other side of of this this world that we were told about so two years ago God, it's been so long. I kind of forgot about it like yeah. a little bit, but it was just enough for it to still kind of be like, oh, I do remember that. Like it was like on the cusp of being completely forgotten. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, they said they were doing a part two. Yeah. So I think they did very well with the timing on that because it gave the other record time to shine without everyone kind of asking for the, the, the this one. Yeah. I think this record is incredible. Um, the energy on it is fucking awesome. As you said, it's it's still kind of it's not as atmospheric or kind of like woozy as the other one, but it is still kind of that big you're experiencing something. It's not that you're listening to something, you're experiencing something when you're listening to it. Um, container. I'm pretty sure I said I really liked it as a single, mm-hmm. um, but because that fucking riff, I fuck with that riff so hard. Um, so it is it is still my favorite track off the record. And now listening to the record, I could still say it is my favorite. Um, as you said, to, to add to your point, with their singles and how they're kind of more of an album band versus kind of like a single band, and you kind of have to wait to see the full picture mm-hmm. before you judge their music or the record before it's out. Um, I think they picked their singles perfectly yeah. for this record. Listening through and kind of hearing, kind of having that, oh, I know that one. Okay, okay, okay. 
compared to everything else, it makes sense why they chose the ones they chose. They sound like the ones that you put to the front to kind of bring people in. Incredible choices. Great record. Very happy that the story is now complete, I assume. Hey, maybe they're doing a part three, man. Trilogy. <laughs> Who fucking knows, man? Um, I love this record a lot. I love this band a lot. Um, we've been covering them for the past. This is like the third record we've yeah. covered by them, right? Yeah. Been covering Wild. them for a while. Yeah. yeah um, but I would just like to speak to your point. Like you you mentioned like building an experience. And that is what I've gotten with the, the past two records. The last one and this one is like, I'm not listening to Boston Manor album. I'm listening to a Boston Manor experience when I'm yeah. listening to these couple of records. And, and I, I love that so much. And it's, it's, you know, always been a fan of Boston Manor. And quite frankly, I remember not, not fully enjoying that 2020 record that we covered. Um, mm -hmm. I remember really liking the last couple of songs. I remember distinctly driving to get lunch and having those last two songs on um, mm -hmm. because I thought they were so good. But mm -hmm. I remember not enjoying that album as a as a full body of work, and maybe that was maybe it's because it just wasn't for me, or maybe it's because I didn't understand it. Who knows? Yeah. But um, these past two records have been experiences, and it's mm -hmm. like what I what I was looking, what I was expecting, knowing that we were getting the the other side of yeah. Datura, I would have been upset if I didn't get an experience. So they they knocked it out of the park with this. I highly recommend. I think it's a fucking banger. Damn right. I completely agree.